cannabis, weed, marijuana, ganja, hemp, it has a lot of names. Globally, there are more than 1200 different slangs for weed. You know why that is? It is because cultures across the world have been consuming weed since forever and no, it's not as bad as many governments portray it to be. Today is 16th October 2018 and tomorrow Canada is doing it. Canada is finally legalizing the use of recreational marijuana. In this video, I want to go over its legality, addiction, components and general signs of effective use of weed. I will finish off the video with my opinion on it. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook to get weekly science-packed health and fitness content to help you be your best self. As of 17th October 2018, for all the blue states you see on the map, the recreational use of weed is legal. In orange areas, it is either decriminalized or otherwise tolerated. Globally, we are now getting a better understanding of weed, but it is still a controlled substance in the majority of the world. So make sure you follow your local laws and in no way in this video are we asking you to break the law. In Canada, laws vary by provinces, but in general you should be of legal age of 18 or 19 plus to consume it in order to minimize any negative effects on your brain as your brain is still developing. Driving while being impaired by any compound, whether weed or other drugs, is a serious criminal offense. Basically, be smart about it. Don't perform any activities while under the influence which would put others or even yourself in harm's way. Marijuana is psychoactive, which means it affects your brain, resulting in temporary change to your perception, mood or behavior but it is much less harmful or addictive compared to other two social drugs, tobacco and alcohol. Cigarettes and other tobacco products kill over half of its users, taking the lives of more than 7 million people a year. Death toll for alcohol is over 3 million people a year. These are global stats based on World Health Organization. Weed, on the other hand, by itself doesn't kill anyone. Alcohol and tobacco physically harm your body, but weed itself doesn't harm your body. Just be careful of what you do afterwards. How does cannabis work? Cannabis has two main components, CBD and THC. Generally speaking, high CBD strains result in more clear-headed and functional effects of weed without the euphoria that is associated with it. It basically relaxes you. Thus, typically, a higher CBD strain is usually recommended for medical marijuana users and can help with pain, seizures, anxiety, and other conditions shown on the screen. A high THC strain is what most recreational users would care about because it gives you the euphoric effects of being high. THC basically interrupts the react-relax cycle of your neurons and makes your thoughts go wild. So what happens normally is that your neurons take a small pause after transferring some information. But because of THC, you don't have this pause anymore. Your thoughts just go bang, 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 bang. It takes you on a random train of thought, enhances your creativeness, and alters your perception of your surroundings. But be careful as some people are more sensitive to THC and for them it can result in effects like anxiety, paranoia or dizziness. Let me take out my wig for this section so you guys don't take this part of the video too seriously. It is not a recommendation, not science, not research but just my personal opinion. In the US, marijuana is classified as a Schedule 1 drug, putting it at the same level of illegality as heroin. Heroin is one of the worst drugs that you can consume, leading to extremely negative health effects and very high dependence. Even cocaine is considered legally better, being classified as a Schedule 2 drug. This, quite frankly, is stupid, and that is coming from a guy wearing this. But you may ask, why does it matter what US thinks? It is because most medical research is done in the US and 
What US does, unfortunately, impacts the whole world. Negative, short-term and long-term effects of tobacco and alcohol far supersedes any negative effects of cannabis. And the current negative perception of weed is really a result of failed politics. I think Canada is taking a greater step in being the first developed country to completely legalize recreational use of marijuana. With proper regulations like this in place, use of marijuana is much safer, ensures good quality product, and results in keeping money out of the pockets of drug dealers. End of the day, you should minimize the use of any compounds that alter your brain chemistry. But as humans, we will always use compounds that alter our brain to either treat problems, relax, or just have fun. And weed, in my personal opinion, is a much better and healthier alternative to other addictive drugs. That being said, the final effects are not just dependent on the strain, but also the mindset that you are in at that moment and your surroundings. If you are new, start slow and take it easy. Don't go all Snoop Dogg. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. You might not want to smoke this grass, but this is more for the